My name is Travis Young, and uh, I'm the head instructor here at the University of Texas Taekwondo Club. When did you start teaching Taekwondo? I started training in 1981 um, when I was in high school. The starting of teaching was at Arizona State University after I became a first don. And uh, I took over the teaching duties at this club in 1996. So I've been here since uh, I'm very old now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how did you decide to teach Taekwondo? I saw martial art movies when I was younger. Kung Fu movies, you know, Bruce Lee. And I saw him and I said, I want to do that. And so the first opportunity that I had to learn martial art was a, a Korean art style, Taekwondo. And uh, so I, that was my first introduction with a real instructor. Uh, when was the proudest moment teaching Taekwondo? As an instructor, my proudest event is when, is, is many things, but when someone finally gets something, um, it's like, okay, wow, the light goes on, and it's like, oh, that's a success. Because they're able to perform it, they felt that accomplishment, and that's a joy for me. You know, do you understand what I mean by that? Hello, what's your name? Hi, my name is Anya. Hi, Anya, and could you tell me about this Taekwondo class? Yeah, so we are an official rec sports club. We're sponsored by the University of Texas at Austin called the U UT ITF Taekwondo. We practice ITF style Taekwondo. When was the moment you got interested in Taekwondo? Okay, so funny story. I, I was seven years old, and I was a very, very energetic child. And uh, a new place near my house called Toys Martial Arts opened. And my mom just, she was like, you're too energetic, you need to go join. And once I joined, uh, I met my master, Master Jung. I saw him do a backflip, break a board, and I was like, this is for me. And I've been doing it ever since. Like, now I'm 21, and I've been doing it since I was seven. Yeah. And then what is the most difficult thing to keep learning Taekwondo? The most difficult thing? I think the hardest part about Taekwondo is that it's very precise so every new pumse we learn every new board breaking technique it just it's it's never perfect you always have to get better your master will never be like oh good job you'll be like okay fix this minute thing so i think that's the hardest part you can never really master anything perfectly and there's always like so much more room for improvement yeah so how do you think about taekwondo uh how do i feel about it yes uh, I think it is literally the best sport in the world because it's not only a fit, you get so much physical fitness out of it, but it's also a mental thing. I'm Michael Cardona. I've been a black belt in this style of Taekwondo for maybe two years or so. Hello, Michael. Uh, when was the moment you got interested in Taekwondo? Well, when I was a kid, uh, four years old, my mom said I could either play, I, I could either, I could do one of two things. I could play violin or I could get into martial arts. And so I started with martial arts. And when I came to, and I did that for most of my life. When I came to college, uh, I looked around, found the clubs, and by some stroke of luck, I found this club first and, jo and joined up. And I just kind of gravitated towards it. And I liked the style, I liked the atmosphere, I liked the people in it, and it was fun. And what is the most difficult thing to keep learning Taekwondo? I think the most difficult thing about Taekwondo is to keep going. It's, it's just, when you hit a wall, you just kind of want to stop. You don't really want to continue on past that. So how do you think about Taekwondo? I think about it as a way to learn how to defend myself and how to just better my better all the physical and even some of the mental aspects of myself. I can because it takes a lot of focus, it takes a lot of concentration, it takes a lot of discipline, but it also takes a lot of physical and physical ability. Um,